Hey everybody, welcome to another video. Uh, I think this one's going to be relatively simple. Uh, I'm just going to be doing uh, some small tasks, I think, uh, for now. Uh, but it's a nice day. We've got the wind turbines looking really nice out there, generating power for the farm. Um, I'm going to go grab some of the supplies needed for this honey room, is what it's called, is the larger box among the beehives there. Um, I'm just going to go purchase or pick up the stuff that I purchased for that. Um, and I also want to point out I, <laughs> I got a electric gator now, even though it looks exactly the same. Um, I managed to find a mod that makes it uh, an EV conversion. So I'm pretty excited about that. You'll hear it, uh, should hear it, the motors in a minute. There we go. Got a little bit of tire sound. Um, but it comes with this cool uh, charging station, which I've planted there, um, which just started glowing. Um, so the battery life seems to be really good. I've, I was trying to drive around and see if the battery would start to decrease, um, but so far it's uh, it hasn't. The needle hasn't moved yet. So, but uh, yeah, excited to have an electric vehicle, and I've also um, I purchased a a hybrid uh, forestry machine um, which is currently in the shop um, so I'm just trying to explore these, these uh, different types of machines uh, electric and hybrid um, but there's not really much to choose from as far as mods go uh, but I'm happy with what I have especially at this uh, since I'm starting a new farm I can uh, I'll just go ahead and try out new things but uh, yeah, in the previous video, I tried out a new mod to me, a mod to me that was new. Um, it was a, oops, got to put my beacon on. Uh, was the agricultural drone, which I flew around yes, or last video, um, which is really kind of neat, um, but is uh, definitely ideal for small fields. I don't know why this has a GPS uh, unit on top either, but just kind of quirky like that. So this is my box of bees. Oops. <laughs> that uh, I'll be putting inside. And then these are the honeycomb frames that go along inside as well. And I'm going to need... I think it requires like four boxes of bees uh, to be full production. Oops, this one's not picking up. There we go. But I'm just adding a little bit at a time. So, okay. It looks like it's going to stay in there. Um, oh, while I'm here, <laughs> I can take my wagon back, which I was planning on uh, uh, transporting compost around to the other... Uh, fruit trees that require compost and, uh, of course, water uh, to start producing. So I uh, will hook up to that and head back. See if uh, towing does anything to the battery range. I doubt it since it's an empty trailer. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I got some supplies. And got the. Uh, I already moved the uh, water tank wagon, which uh, I was using to water the trees. And uh, I might I might end up just using the skid loader bucket for transporting manure. Uh, but this wagon might be handy to have um, since it can hold anything as a you know as a mod. It, it's a pretty useful wagon as it can carry anything. Uh, seed or uh, crop or anything like that, so it'd be nice to have around. So I'm at full throttle right now, so the trailer is uh, definitely offering a little resistance going uphill. Um, still haven't seen the battery needle move. <laughs> I'm kind of wondering if it's a uh, if it either doesn't work or if it's just like infinite battery. <laughs> I 
Oh, I also, uh, yeah, I'll point out this real quick. Um, so I got, uh, I just picked up this truck just purely to haul, um, this hybrid forestry rig. Um, it logs said it, yeah, but, yeah, clearly says hybrid, so it's definitely, uh, it's got a cool, cool sound to it. I'll start it up real quick. So it's definitely got a beefy engine in there. But, uh, yeah, when it shuts down, it, uh, does like a little whining or electric motor sound. I have to figure out what that is yet. Yeah, hear it, the little buzzing. I'm not sure what that does, but that's kind of cool. <laughs> I'm going to look it up later. But, uh, yeah, just, it's cool to, to have a hybrid machine. I just, I prefer, like, uh, you know, anything that's efficient or EV-related. Um, of course, I've also got, you know, this, the non-very efficient equipment, like a mix all around, really. I'm really enjoying my honeybee grove here, I guess is what you can say, with the uh, fruit trees and everything. And let's see, open this. Okay, there's a command, open that. Sweet. And then let's transfer these over. Should just automatically, yeah, see it automatically puts it in there. Oops. Okay, there. Let's put them in there. So yeah, it takes quite a few honeycomb. Uh, eventually, I'll probably have it full, but... And then the box of bees. Okay, so we've got, okay, half the amount of bees and a little more than a third, basically a third of the honeycomb. So a lot left to add, but uh, just a little bit at a time, see what it does. It looks like we've got 1% honey, so at least it's doing something. Okay, at least it's doing something. Um, so yeah, I've got the trailer now. Uh, chickens are doing good. Uh, no more eggs yet, but the uh, ones I have are over there in the refrigerated unit. Uh, these trees have everything they need. Now they just need to start producing um, apples. And I've got trees over here that still need attention. So I could do that real quick. I forget what I have planted over here. is this oh cherries yeah so I've got a water and manure those trees and uh, if you haven't seen it yet this is what was in my last video is this really cool agricultural drone uh, for spreading fertilizer pretty loud But definitely a unique piece of machinery there. <laughs> I uh, see I fertilized. Uh, let's zoom in. Yeah, so this was me flying the drone in field 19, um, and that was, I think, two, two tanks. Um, so it doesn't cover very much ground. It'd be more ideal for something like field 20, um, and that's why I have the John Deere 4940. Um, that'll be coming in for the bigger fields, but uh, I think the drone is pretty cool to have just 
something different. Um, not sure how to recharge it or refuel it or what it needs, but um, we'll figure that out eventually. But yeah, I think I'll just run some compost real quick and uh, check that off so the trees are producing something. So he's in, almost in the way. There he goes. Making sure the dog was out of the way. So I went ahead and installed a manure pit um, over here, just so it's easy access. Um, if I decide to switch to spreading manure in the fields as fertilizer, I can always do that. It does cost some money to uh, take out. There, it just automatically accepts the compost around the tree, and that was already one bucket. I think it takes two for the tree to be happy. Okay, so one bucket is about 64%. So. You can at least do one bucket per tree for now, and then uh, they take a ton of water. I think it's like an entire tank of water, or something like that. go. The tree's composted. The manure, rather. It's really a nice day. I could uh, could actually try and finish planting the one field across the road.
temperatures are warming up. Alright, that's done. I guess he wants to be fed. <laughs> and I'll go ahead and pick up the water tank real quick. Okay, there it is. Done eating already. Oh, there's still some water left in here. Okay. And I just need to open the cover and it should start filling automatically. Pretty fast. <laughs> Definitely uh, heavy load now. Starting to top off the tree there. So, I think, it, yeah, it takes half a tank for one tree. Okay, and then one more to go. So, hopefully, these trees will start doing something eventually. Um, I've never really messed with fruit trees before. Um, so it'd be interesting to see uh, how the fruit is collected and all that. some kind of mod uh, that makes the uh, water fill up really fast. <laughs> it's like a fire hose basically. Okay, the battery uh, uh, the battery needle has finally moved so that's uh, cool to see that that works. This thing you should definitely start moving uh, all the driving and now I'm towing this heavy tank around. I think that's the last one that needed water. I'll just drive around. Q. 
keep that in the shade and I'll go ahead and head up to the uh, 7520 which is sitting up here. Good day to do some planting. Definitely some steep hills here on the Felsburn map, that's for sure. Alright, so we're just going to pick up uh, planting sunflower here. And I also have fertilizer in the planter, so um, it's uh, yep automatically adding as we go. And the ridge marker line is not center, but it's actually the edge of the outside tire here. Okay, and it's automatically adding the fertilizer rate, which is not that much for sunflower apparently. A little bit of overlap, but uh, not a big deal. You can see the orange map, or the red map on the bottom left change in orange as we go along. Fertilizing a little bit at a time. Oh, I always forget. <laughs> the ridge marker only works if the uh, planter is down still for some reason.
Oops. That looks like one more pass uh, down there, maybe. Uh, and I'm planting uh, the short way across the field because uh, I don't want my rows to run down this length of the hill. Uh, that's just going to channel water and wash away everything. So try and prevent that by doing the more trips, but um, yeah, just plant across the hill instead of up and down it. Make this the last row. Hmm, yeah, perfect too. Thought there might be a gap. Perfect. So it's one field planted for sunflower and I'm not sure I'll be coming back in here again fertilizer, maybe I hit it with a drone. Um, but I'll go ahead and take this over to the, well actually, I might have to get another cedar because this one's pretty limited with the seed it can plant. Oops. <laughs> Knocked down the damn right side. That's okay. Wasn't me. So field 20. Oh. 
Did I already plant it? <laughs> I guess I already planted that. All right. I'll let that cool down for a second. Step in here. Um, so, yeah, let me double check what that says. Yeah, this planter is pretty limited with seed, so basically, only I'm only planting sunflower, could do soybean, um, and corn, of course, but uh, let me just check what else there was available. It's quite the diversity of cedars, if I remember. Oh yeah, that one can do oilseed radish. Oh yeah, these can do canola. So I like planting canola, um, but that's reserved for the my bigger planter. All oh, right, yeah, the the seed drill. Fifteen ninety, which I've actually used in real life before. Oh okay, wheat and barley. Yeah, maybe I'll go with that one. What is the width on that? Six meters. Oh, this one. Much wider. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, uh, it's a mod, too. What is this, actually? I don't know. <laughs> Secondary crop cedar. Where does that go? Does that go in the front? I don't know. I have no idea what that attaches to one of the other planters, I guess. I don't know. Alright, there's the... No, there's the tanks. Here, I'll just hold off on that. This one else is the other planters, too. I have one of these. They can't... Yeah, that one doesn't really plant much else. Alrighty, so that's planted, and a little bit of fertilizer. Okay, yeah, I must have done... What did I plant over there? Oh, I did plant canola there. Alright. Oh yeah, that one's half sunflower too. Cool. Um, all right, well, this video is long enough. Uh, I'm just going to be uh, doing some more small projects and uh, eventually get Felsbrunn planted um, before I rotate to another farm. And uh, be messing around with this drone thing probably a little bit. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.